You felt it, that flicker in the mind. A moment that plays twice. A room you've never seen that somehow feels mapped in your bones. Deja vu, a glitch, they say. But what if it isn't a mistaken memory at all? What if the mistake is our story of time? We tell it like a straight road, past behind us. Future ahead, we march, we don't turn. But nature rarely draws straight lines. Rivers meander, planets loop. Seasons return on schedule, like a song you can't stop humming. What if time does the same? What if the road is a circle you're walking without noticing the curve? Ancient minds guessed it first. The Stoics spoke of eternal return. India imagined vast Yuga's ages that rise and reset. The Maya counted great cycles and watched the sky as if the heavens were a calendar wheel. They didn't have particle colliders. They had patterns. And sometimes patterns are enough to provoke a dangerous question. Modern science sharpened it. Einstein bent time with gravity. He showed that clocks slow when you move fast and slow again when you fall into a well of space. Lose the straightness and a loop becomes possible. In his equations, there's a strange path with a beautiful name, a closed time-like curve. A journey that leaves now, bends through a valley of warped geometry and returns to the moment it left without tearing physics. In 1949, Kurt Gaddell found an entire solution where the whole universe rotates and time naturally curls into circles. Einstein reportedly hated it. He didn't like the idea that his math allowed a time machine, but the math didn't ask for permission. It simply sat there, possible, awkward, waiting. Here's the problem. A loop invites paradox. If you go back and change the thing that sent you back, do you trap yourself forever? The universe can't be both consistent and self-contradictory. So theorists wrote a rule, a quiet, powerful rule. Deutsch's consistency condition. Events inside a loop must agree with their own past. Whatever happens is the one story that never destroys itself. And here's the impact. If loops exist, free will look different. You still choose. But the choice you make is the one that fits the loop. Destiny is not a prophecy. It's a constraint. How would we know any of this is real? Start small. Start with light. At the University of Queensland, researchers simulated a time-like loop using photons. A particle interacted with a copy of itself mathematically, its past self inside a lab-controlled circuit. No paradox appeared. The result followed the rule. Self-consistent. A tiny story that agrees with itself. Other experiments play with cause and effect at the edge of meaning. Delayed choice tests show particles behaving as if future measurements help decide their past state. It isn't magic, it's quantum bookkeeping. But the ledger refuses to read in simple sequences. First, then second, then third. Sometimes it reads all at once. Then there is the block. The block universe. A picture used by many physicists where every moment yesterday, today, and tomorrow exists together like pages already printed. You are the reader, not the printer. You feel motion because your mind moves through the pages. Your memories are bookmarks. Your forgettings are blinds. So where does deja vu sit in this? Neurology has answers. A brief misfire in the temporal lobe. A dual signal that arrives twice a heartbeat apart. Familiarity ignites before the details. Your brain says, I've been here. Then the details land and correct you. I haven't. It feels supernatural. It is probably circuitry, but probably isn't always. There are cases that nag. Air logs that report arrival times too short for the distance flown. Witnesses who describe repeating minutes during seizures or magnetic stimulation studies. Temporal log storms where a life seems to fold and refold like paper. We don't build a theory on anomalies. We use anomalies to decide which door to open next. Imagine a different scale. Not minutes. Not flights. Cosmos. Roger Penrose proposed a cyclic universe that die into smoothness 
and are reborn into a new Big Bang. Others suggest a CPT symmetric universe. Two halves mirror each other across the Big Bang, time running forward in one, backward in the other. The goal is the same. Find a shape of time where everything is consistent and the arithmetic of entropy disorder doesn't break. Because entropy is the catch. We feel time because tea cools, not heats. Because hands wrinkle, not smooth. Because eggs break, not unbreak. The arrow points one way. A loop would need a trick that resets the arrow without cheating physics. Maybe the reset is the smoothness at the end of the universe. Maybe the reset is built into the mirror. The proposals exist. The data is not finished speaking. You might be wondering who benefits if time loops. We do, not in money, in meaning. A loop erases the terror of a one-way fall. It tells you the moments return. It whispers that mistakes become lessons because the wheel gives you another pass. But it also demands responsibility. If the pattern repeats, then the pattern you set matters more, not less. Let's ground this in stories, then mechanisms, then impact. Story one. A pilot in a storm reports a tunnel and arrives half an hour early. Mechanism, unusual wind fields, instrument drift, or a narrow slice of space-time behaving like a slow motion ghetto loop. Impact, if rare time pockets exist, navigation needs more than weather maps. Story two, a volunteer in a lab says the same sentence twice because their brain's timekeeper hiccups. Mechanism, the temporal lobe sink slips and the subjective present reloads. Impact, what we call reality is partly a rhythm produced inside the skull. Break the rhythm and time loses its edge. Story three, a supercomputer simulates a quantum loop. The output matches the consistency rule without paradox. Mechanism, information learns to agree with itself. Impact. The universe might be less about events and more about self-consistent stories. Whenever the loop idea appears, so do warnings. Don't fall for the glamorous paradox. Don't call every coincidence a cycle. Fair, but also don't ignore how many pieces point in one direction. Relativity curves time. Quantum mechanics blurs order. Cosmology finds models where beginnings and endings connect. Ancient calendars insist the world is a wheel. And your mind, sometimes, tells you it has been here before. If this is the kind of frontier you want more of, where physics meets myth and both become testable, subscribe to Sensei Mystery right now. We decode the mystery behind history every week. New evidence, new questions, no shortcuts. Back to the hunt. If time is a loop, can we prove it on Tuesday? Maybe not directly, but we can stack strong hints. Look for symmetry in the oldest light, the cosmic microwave background, like a fingerprint of a previous cycle. Some teams claim faint patterns, others disagree. It's an honest fight. Look for mirrored particle behavior neutrinos, switching flavors across distances in ways that hint at time reversal symmetries. Look for repeating astrophysical outbursts that defy simple rotation schedules. Look for time crystals, states of matter, that repeat in time the way normal crystals repeat in space. They've been created in the lab, not a Hollywood loop, but a physical rhythm that doesn't die. A proof that order in time is a real thing nature can do. Zoom back to the human scale. History looks like a loop because we don't learn or because we learn too well and build the same machines of empire out of habit, or because the pattern really is there. Empires rise, overreach, and fall along nearly the same logistic curve. Economies boom and bust with the same lag. Stories of golden ages and floods appear independently across continents, copying or cycling, or both. If the loop exists, what do we do with it? We practice. We choose rituals that make the next lap kinder. We build calendars that remind us where the last lap went wrong. We train our perception to catch the echo without freezing in superstition. Maybe none of this is literal, 
Maybe the point is that a loop is the only story that stays humble. It says, you are not the first. It says, you are not the last. It says, act like your choices will meet you again. Listen to silence for a second. That's the sound of the present passing. If it feels familiar, that's not proof of a loop. It's a hint that the mind notices structure. And the universe, if it is anything, is structure. Will physics one day build a real-time loop you could ride? The safest answer is no. The honest answer is we don't know. Nature sometimes says yes where we expected no. We once thought time and space were separate. We once thought clocks ticked the same for everyone. We once thought quantum weirdness was math only, not experiment. And then we flew satellites that need relativity to work and built chips that run on quantum rules. We learn to trust equations that make good predictions, even when the picture they paint feels wrong. So are we living in a time loop? The careful answer is this. There are models where loops are consistent and possible. There are experiments that behave like tiny loops without paradox. There are minds that feel echoes. There are cultures that plan their lives around cycles because cycles were the only honest thing they could measure. None of that proves the big loop. All of it makes the line look less certain. Here's the truth that matters right now. The universe might be a book that rereads itself. We are lines in that book. We don't control the grammar. We choose the words we are. And if the book loops, the words return. Write them like you will meet them again. Maybe you've heard this closing before. Maybe you'll hear it again. If the loop exists, it deserves better stories than paradoxes and cheap miracles. It deserves patience. It deserves tests. It deserves people willing to stand where ancient myth and modern math overlap and say, we don't know yet, but we will. Subscribe to Sensei Mystery to keep walking that edge where history, physics, and the unexplained share one map. Tell me your experience below. Have you felt a moment repeat with detail so sharp it scared you? Do you think deja vu is a neural echo or a note from a previous lap? Leave your theory and one fact to back it. The best comments shape future episodes. Watch next, Hidden Science of the Pyramids, What Egypt Still Can't Explain. Also watch, Roanoke Lost Colony, The Crotoan Conundrum Explained.